Raspberry Pi, we're getting some of those products in that they've released recently. This is their hub. Uh, you know, look, they, you know, people are like, I want a really good USB 3 hub. Um, that'll also work with my Raspberry Pi computers. Um, they did a good job with the design here. Um, it uses whew, a Cypress Psi 344. I don't remember the part number. I, I, I looked it up. What's the little okay. USB-C plug okay. right there? How does this work? Yeah, so first off, this is true USB 3. Yeah. So like you're always interested in USB 3. This is six gigabit um, per cool. second. So this is true USB th uh, 3. It's not like a USB 2 hub yeah. with USB 3 connectors. It's like you'll actually get USB 3 speeds out of this. Okay. Um, four port hub. And if you want for external power, you would use a USB C power delivery power oh, supply. Like the one that Raspberry Pi has? Yes. For their... so that why, would give... why would you use that? So you could power more of it? Well, like, because... You have like a bunch of things? Yeah, normally a USB-A port will only provide like one amp max. But if, you, okay. if you're using like some high-powered peripherals... What if you plug this into like your MacBook Pro and like power it that way? Will that work? Or you will, could. Or will it show up as a thing? Is that power only? That's power only. Okay, so you could power it that way. Although I don't, yeah, no, I it's think it even camera. says, yeah, it says in five volts. So that's power only. It would be kind of neat if that was also like it could, that was a possible input to the hub. But I don't think they can switch between the two that. connectors. Okay, cool. Well, I, I'm going to, when we have, I'm going to plug you in. Should design, see what happens. You should design electronic products. I should products. design electronic products. Yeah, right. Okay. Cool. Um, next up. Okay. Next up, we have a request from Aaron. We stock these LED like seed pebble pixels. They're kind of weatherproof. They're great for sewing into um, costumes and fabric. And she's like, I want longer strands. So we now have 15 meter, 10 meter, and five meter long strands. And we have them with four inch, 100 millimeter, or two inch, 50 millimeter pitch. So this is like, yeah. you can see how some of them are longer apart. And some are, this is the four, just the four inch. And yeah, then this is the. These. And yeah. then this one is the two inch okay, pitch. So, so that, it's like, see yeah, how those are closer together? And then click on this one. That, that. Yeah, farther apart. Yeah. Anyways, they're different prices because you know, you're getting more or less pixels. It depends yeah. on whether you want it to go long or short. Maybe we have like all the combinations available. Okay, so do check And they're out. all NeoPixels, so of course they're individually addressable. Um, the wire in between is flexible. I'll say they're weatherproof, but they're not waterproof. Don't yeah. dump them underwater, but they're totally great for um, temporary outdoor stuff where it's not going to get like heavy rain, snow. And of course, you want to weatherproof yeah. the connectors as well. Alrighty, next up. Okay, next up, coming soon, uh, but people can sign up. It was a short week, so I didn't get the testers done for this yet, but we'll work on that and we'll have these in the shop for next week. We have two boards for the BQ. 25 185 this is a kind of a nice linear charger for a single cell battery from ti um and i really wanted an alternative to the mcp 73 series that we use a lot of so i kind of made this look like the mcp 73 833 breakout that's like product number 259 it was like one of the first things we made um, the, this charger has a couple upgrades. One, it can do up to one amp charge rate. And if you look on the bottom, there's um, jumpers that you can solder if you want to change the charge rate to be either 250 milliamps or 500. Most people have big batteries these days, so they want one amp charge rate. Um, you can also change the battery voltage. This is the first charger we have that can do that. Most are usually fixed. They can either do, like you can either get the charger chip to do lithium ion or to do um, lithium ferric phosphate. So this can do LIFE, PO4, lithium phosphate, whatever, uh, batteries that are 6.3.65 volts. So you just solder the jumper on the back, you cut the jumper on the front, and now it's 3.65 volt, which is great because you don't have to have separate chargers. You can like configure this whichever way you want. Um, Another nice thing about this charger is it's got charging and fault and power leads. There's three LEDs, red for uh, fault, like if something went wrong with charging, yellow for it's in charge state, and the power LED green, which will tell you that the load is working. So um, what's nice about this battery charger is it has separate battery and load connections. So the battery goes in the left slot, and your load, the thing that connects to your circuit that you're powering, goes on the right. And this charger has power path, which means that if you're if you have the USB C plugged in, which means power is coming in, instead of like charging and discharging the battery continuously, 
it'll automatically take power from the USB and then whatever power is left over, it will charge the battery. So it'll like charge the battery on the side. Um, this will keep your battery life lasting a lot longer because you're not like constantly charging and discharging. And the load output is regulated to be no more than 4.5 volts. And so even though the USB or DC input can be up to like 18 volts or something ridiculous, it, the output load is regulated. So it's safe to use with your um, things that expect no more than five volts output. Um, and like I said, the power path is, you know, it, it keeps your battery, it'll charge it in the background, basically. It's a little bit like your like laptop, like when you plug it in, you'll automatically switch over to the DC power and then whatever's left over, charge the battery. And finally, the last thing which makes it really nice is for a low cost charger chip, it can do solar charging. So you can connect a solar panel to the DC input and it's diode protected so it doesn't conflict with the USB. And you can use it with a three or nine volt, sorry, a uh, five to nine volt solar panel and it'll automatically change the charging rate so that your voltage on the solar cell doesn't collapse. You don't need a gigantic, um, uh, you'll need a gigantic capacitor to stabilize it. It'll automatically like adjust the current that's used for the load or battery charging um, to keep your solar cell in like a very optimal state. I will say it's not technically max power point tracking, which is a very specific mathematical mm -hmm. technique. However, it gets you like 95% of the way there without the cost. It's yeah. like built in, it's very inexpensive. This is like under 10 bucks. Okay, to start the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our team, our customers, and the entire community of people who share things and try to make things better for all of us by bringing us together. The quest for learning and sharing is? The BQ25185 with a built-in buck converter output. So if you liked that USB or solar DC charger that I just showed, but you're like, man, I wish it had like a 3.3 volt output so I could just use it immediately for charging my projects. Um, here's what you got. So it's got the uh, USB input that can charge your lithium ion battery, a lithium polymer battery. Uh, by default, charge rate is one amp. You can change that to half an amp by cutting the jumper on the back. Plug in your battery, plug in USB, or there's also a VIN pin. Um, if you provide solar input, it will charge from a solar panel. You also use any kind of DC input up to like 18 volts, which is a huge voltage. I would actually not keep it. I would not use such high voltages because it's linear and it could overheat. Um, and on the output, there's a terminal block and the terminal block will give you ground in the center, a regulated 3.3 volt output from a buck converter that will give you up to an amp. So it's it's very power efficient because instead of doing linear regulation, it will do a switch mode conversion from the battery uh, to get you like the most power possible for the most efficient runtime. And it'll also give you uh, what's called the power path output from the charger, which is never gonna be more than 4.5 volts. So if a USB is plugged in, you'll get 4.5 volts out of it. If USB is not plugged in, you'll get basically the raw uh, battery output. So unregulated. It could be good if you need like you're powering uh, like NeoPixels or something and you want like 3.3 volt to power your microcontroller board, but you want um, a higher current output and possibly higher voltage for driving your servo or NeoPixel or LEDs or whatever. So you have that option too. So kind of all in one, like everything you need to make a battery powered project that runs on three volts. Um, this board will do it for you. You don't need a separate power supply or battery manager or anything. Ooh.